I've got an article in this month's Silicon Chip magazine, April 2009, about uh, this new project I've come up with. It's really simple. It's called the microcurrent, and it's uh, it fixes a major problem to do with almost every multimeter on the market. Now, I've really, um, since I developed this little project, I've lost count of the number of people who have uh, been baffled that their multimeter, even a precision Fluke 87 multimeter uh, that been, they've been using for 20 years is uh, in many cases useless at measuring precision current, uh, be it in DC or AC circuits. And it's to do with burden voltage. Now, Every, uh, most people know about burden voltage. There's a, res there's a shunt resistor inside the multimeter that drops a voltage when you pass current through it. No problem. Easy, right? And, but most people think it's really small. But it's not. The closer you get to the full-scale range of the meter, the, uh, the, the bigger the drop, obviously. Now, a really good meter, like the Fluke 87 5, it will have well, this one actually has 1.8 millivolts per milliamp burden voltage. So, if you pass 200 milliamps through this, if you try to measure 200 milliamps, that's a 360 millivolt drop. Now, that it may not sound like much, but really 360 millivolts is, if your circuit is 5 volts, bingo, you've already uh, thrown your circuit out of voltage spec probably let alone a 3.3 volt circuit, or I'm working a lot these days on 1.2 volt circuits. So it's, you know, a current like this, you really can't, a meter like this, you really can't measure precision current with. It's crazy. So the microcurrent is, it's, it's really simple. I don't know why anyone really um, hasn't done one before. It's, uh, it's just a low value shunt resistor with a high precision amplifier in it and um, it solves the problem really well. But yeah, a lot of people seem embarrassed that they don't know that their meter is not very precise at all. And that goes for virtually every meter on the market. There are some that are almost an order of magnitude worse than this, and price really doesn't have much to do with it. You can pay $2,000 for a multimeter and it's still gonna have the same problem. So just be wary of it, burden voltage.